Telltale Hearts is amazing. This is the second episode of the 12th season of CSI. And there won't be any spoilers for whodunit, as it were. But there might be a few spoilers for things that happen throughout the episode. So I'm just going to give a spoiler warning, just in case I go into a bit too much detail than people would like. But I definitely won't spoil who was ultimately responsible for the crime. And it starts off really strongly, I have to say. We have two young people making out in a car and a nearby sprinkler system kicks in and they are sprayed with blood. And it's just fabulous. It's an amazing start to a really strong episode. And then CSI go into this house and unfortunately the entire family has been murdered. And I won't say how the blood got into the sprinkler system, but it's pretty clever, pretty well done. And they have a suspect and they obviously arrest this suspect and that individual was a pretty fascinating character. I don't want to go into a tremendous amount of detail about the suspects as I do want to try and keep this as spoiler free as possible. But that suspect I thought was really fascinating. In fact, all of the characters in this, all of the suspects are very well written and the performances are really good. And I wanted to watch the interrogations more. I wanted to find out more about what these suspects had to say. And the reason I'm saying suspects plural is because once they arrest one person, other people start saying that they committed the crime. How does that make any sense? Well, it makes sense within the context of the episode, but I'm not going to give it away. And I did not work it out. And I was very, very confused. I had no idea where this was going. And that was that was delightful because I was really intrigued to find out what was going on. And there was one suspect who I just thought, you didn't do it. You did not do it. But how do you know this information? So I was baffled. And I really thoroughly enjoyed this. The pacing is great. It's very dramatic. We get off to an amazing start, as I said, and it just gets better and better from there. It does touch on some very sensitive topics, not just murder, but I'll say no more other than there is a, a little girl, a little girl involved and a potential predator. And obviously that's not something that everybody can can deal with. It's not going to be for everybody. But that being said, I'm realizing pretty quickly and much to my delight that CSI is not sugarcoating anything. There's nothing worse than when you have a gritty crime drama, but they kind of sugarcoat everything. And I prefer things that, that that would make the average person squeamish. I have a pretty strong stomach for this kind of thing, apart from eyes and wrists. If anybody's doing anything to their wrists, I can't look. If it's a close-up of a person's eye, especially if there's an object near it, no thank you. But everything else uh, is, is pretty delightful and none of those things feature in this one, thankfully. But if they do in future episodes, I will be tested. But with Telltale Hearts, I thought it was a fabulous narrative, very, very unpredictable. And the pacing was great. The wait, the wait for the reveal was very intense, but a very enjoyable journey. And as I said, the characters, the suspects, they were all very well written, very fascinating. I wanted to spend more time with them and I absolutely loved it. Two episodes in to CSI for me, as I mentioned in the last discussion, I started with season 12 because I love Ted Danson and based purely on these, if the quality continues like this, I will definitely be going back to the beginning and watching from season one once I get to the end. But for now, sticking with season 12, and I absolutely adored Telltale Hearts.